Uh, this question is about Scott Peterson, a uh, former sheriff uh, that was arrested for lack of response in the 2018 mass shooting um, in the Florida school. Um, should he be held accountable for his failure to act? And I believe he should. In this case, uh, this was a gun-free zone. Um, the only chance anyone in that school had of survival or if law enforcement were to come in and rescue them. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Um, and, until teachers uh, or even students can, can arm themselves and defend themselves, uh, the only reasonable way that, that they can be defended is by law enforcement. In this case, they, they dropped the ball. Should Scott Peterson be held accountable for lack of response on the situation? Yes, because it's his duty and his job to fulfill safety. Why should Scott Peterson be held accountable for his actions? Because he wasn't accountable. He didn't do anything to stop it. He should have stepped in and done something immediately. I feel that the only person that should be held accountable is the person who actually did the shooting. I don't think the sheriff should be held accountable because there was other circumstances involved. I believe he should be held accountable because it's part of his duties. This question is about um, the officer Scott and if he unlawfully handled the situation on the school shooting. Coming from a teacher standpoint, a speech therapist standpoint, I have been there. I have been in the school shooting aspect and um, I've had friends hurt in school shootings and I personally don't believe this was his fault. Um, if anything, when that happened to my family members at Marshall County in Kentucky, I it would have been nice to have the police there sooner, but there's nothing that could have stopped what was gonna happen. And things happen, you can't help it and you can't save it.